some pictures that I asked them to, hashtag Flood24, that will show. But this is a, a live look um, right now of the marine unit getting people out of that train and onto those little boats because that water must be fairly high. Uh, and they, you know, for safety reasons, obviously, don't want people trying to swim away. So they were really stuck on their deep up on the second level since 5.30. It's hot. Uh, and, you know, there are some people who are pretty nervous. So they're coming down to sort of that mid-level where you see the Marine Unit officers taking them out of that window onto those little uh, uh, rescue uh, boats. And, and Steph, we're actually going to take uh, our viewers inside the train right now back to Jonah Cade. He's one of the passengers we spoke to uh, about an hour and a half ago. Jonah, you've been stuck on there for about four hours now. We're watching this rescue operation taking place in human, in human chain. Uh, tell us what you're seeing and experiencing from inside. Um, listen, I, I'm not going to promote any kind of scare tactics or anything like that. Uh, here's the reality. We're stuck up here, and there's some people that need to get out. Um, and sooner the better. <laughs> uh, the reality, again, is just uh, it's, it's not, not so good. Uh, we're trying to open some windows and, uh, you know, get the people that need to get out of here out of here. And hopefully that happens a lot sooner than later. So, uh, Jonah, is this, uh, have they told you anything about this, this uh, rescue effort? Is it strictly for, for folks who, who have to get off the train, or are they trying to extract everybody? Uh, all I know so far is that there's a few people that really aren't doing so good. They've made a conscious effort to try and get those people out first. Um, I got someone beside me who needs to get out of here right now, and uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not looking so pretty. Uh, you know, when I spoke to you, Jonah, about an hour ago, I could hear the frustration in your voice. I hear it again now. Can you tell us um, what the mood is like uh, on that train right now? Listen, um, I think the majority of people are doing fine. I think that we're just concerned for the people that aren't doing so great, and uh, we'd like to see them do a little bit better. So I don't know what they're planning on doing, but we got somebody here who we'd like to get off. So um, <laughs> I, I don't know what else I can do because, like, it's, again, we're stuck there, you know? And uh, I, I I don't think I'm about about ready to just jump into this river exactly. So I I don't know. All right, well, listen, uh, Jonah, be patient. Uh, there's not much else you can do at this point. I can tell you we're looking at pictures. The Toronto Police Marine Unit are on it. They're doing their best to try and get the uh, right. folks who need to be it, off the train. Is, is there anything that you can tell me, like, with regards to, like, what they're doing to get us out of here? Cause, uh, I, I, I can tell you what we're seeing right now, and uh, from the notes that I've seen going around in our internal email inbox, I can tell you that the Toronto Police Marine Unit are on this, and they're forming a, a bit of a human tra human chain, and they're pulling people out of uh, out of a lower story window, out of the... I guess sort of the mid the mid window mid level window on that gold train right now. So we're the solution at. to this is to play Red Rover. I got gotcha. you. Okay, uh, that's wonderful. Anyway, uh, <laughs> looks like we're stuck here for a little while. Yeah, for a little bit, and uh, and who knows, Joe? We may be talking to you again uh, before this is all said and done. We appreciate you taking the time, and uh, yeah, hopefully you, you can help. Reach me. Yeah, hopefully you can help lighten the mood uh, on that train. You've got a good sense of humor about yourself, anyways. Thank you, Jonah. Appreciate it.